So you got to understand something about John Calipari. He's always fighting to better his program. John Calipari, in 2007, Kentucky made a commitment to put $30 million in a practice facility, okay, in a practice facility that was Taj Mahal-like, 2007. Fast forward 15 years, 2022. That practice facility is antiquated. That practice facility doesn't even have a team meeting room. That practice facility has offices for coaches that are the size of the desk that I'm sitting in. That practice facility isn't compar- comparable to the teams that have gone on an arms race and have decided we need bigger and better and more. Cal Perry talked about it. Cal Perry said, look, this is a basketball school. Alabama and Georgia, they're football schools. He's not wrong. Now, I was listening last night to a radio show, and the clowns on the radio show, well, memo to John Calipari, you can be good at both. Well, memo to the idiots on the radio, no kidding. But there are certain schools, no matter how much success you have in one, that are always about the other. I would argue, look, my son played at Michigan and Ohio State. Michigan is a fantastic school, number one. Terrific history in football, terrific history in basketball. They hardly ever, ever, Sell out 12, 13,000 Chrysler Arena. Hardly ever. Ohio State, tremendous history in basketball. Unfreaking believable history in football. They maybe once a year shell out the, sell out the Schottenstein Center. Maybe. Now, Kentucky is a little bit different. I've always said this. I've always said back when Indiana and Kentucky used to play, Kentucky would come to Indiana, Indiana would get maybe 25,000. Indiana go to play Kentucky in a night game. There'd be 56,000. It'd be capacity in their football stadium. I've always said that Kentucky folks are dying to love Kentucky football, and now they do because Mark Stoops has done a great job. But Calipari isn't wrong. Of course you can have success in both, but of course Kentucky is and has always been and always will be a basketball school. Ten wins is great. Four postseason wins is great. But you know what Calipari's team did? Calipari's team gave the opening to Kentucky football uh, football players that were feeling themselves. Yeah, he did. He gave the opening. What was the opening? Losing to St. frickin' Peters. You lose to St. Peters in your Kentucky, guess what? You're going to get ripped. Same thing with Purdue. Indiana fans are lining up. Anytime a Purdue guy talks, guess what? St. Peters. Shaheen Holloway. Where's St. Peters, pal? St. Peters got you, huh? I'm telling you. I'm telling you. That's what they do. Oh, there's a Fernando Tatis freaking commercial for Gatorade. Yeah, he's our hero, right? 80 games. So Calipari said it. Stoops got all defensive. What? Football or basketball school, we play in the SEC. They had a press conference the other day. They did. Mitch Barnhart, who apparently is not getting along with Calipari, he's the athletic director, uh, basically squelched it. Stoop said, look, I basically stay in my lane. We're trying to build history here. I know Kentucky has great basketball, but we're trying to build history here. Cal Perry made a great statement. He said, look, I'm reaching out to Mark Stoops. I didn't mean nothing by it. It was a mistake. But guess what? I'm going about my business without any clutter. Good for him. Look, coaches listen to everything, man. Coaches hear everything. And they react to everything. Everything. So the bottom line is very simple. This is much ado about nothing, but I don't blame either. I don't blame Calipari for going after and being very public about the need to get a new facility. I don't blame him a bit. And he also has done such an incredible job there in terms of his players wanting to give back money. Hell, he built a new locker room based on his players' money. Think about that. So I don't blame Cal one second, and I don't blame Stoops one second. Don't blame him a bit you got to defend your program. You know what happened the minute Calipari sent that? The second Calipari sent that, you know what happened? Alabama, Georgia, to every kid that they are involved with, that Kentucky's even sniffing around, they got to the kids and said, look, even the coaches at Kentucky know it's not a football school. Why would you want to be a football player and go to a basketball school? It's exactly what happened. 